Supergirl 1984 movie is a piece of crap. This is one of the far worst superhero films and one of the worst movies, period, that I've ever had to sit through. The freaking plot of Supergirl 1984 if there is a plot, it is is basically Supergirl's origin. After a power source for the community of Krypton survivors is accidentally whisked to Earth, Kar Zor-El, cousin of Superman and niece to Jor-El, chooses to go to Earth to find it and bring it back. Upon her arrival, she just becomes a powerful and super as her cousin, but encounters dangerous battles and unexpected obstacles. When a mean-spirited woman who practices rituals in of the occult takes the power source for herself and uses it to cause destruction and attempt to zenith human status, and then Supergirl has to come to stop her. <laughs> this movie is canon with the Christopher Reeve Superman films. Why? It's not. And this was supposed. This was the first superhero film to feature a girl in the role. Now I'm all for female superhero movies. I love Wonder Woman. Elektra was okay. But this Supergirl movie is just horrible. Let me just say the two main positives the two good things about this movie. Helen Slayer as Supergirl and her costume and the music. That's pretty much it. Even the titles that are reminiscent to the original Superman movie. I do like that. Everything else about this movie is bad. Faye Dunaway is a very lackluster horrible villain. The story is just out there it's incoherent it does not and there was some stuff that got cut cut out and there's a broadcasted version of the film extendedly and this, there's a reason why this movie got worse actress and worse actor because Peter O'Toole and Faye Dunaway this is one of the worst performances now Christopher Reeve was supposed to have a cameo as Superman, but he bowed out. So his non-appearance is explained in, through news broadcasts saying that Superman has left Earth on a peace-seeking mission, basically setting up a quest for crap or a quest for peace. I've already talked about the movie, so I don't need to talk about it again. But there is a photo of Superman appearing in the film, and I did like that. Mark McClure as Jimmy Olsen, I'm like, why? Why are you in this movie? The effects are just horrible. The effects does not look very convincing at all. I'm not screaming and hollering at the top of my lungs because I just want to keep it short and sweet with this movie because there's not a whole lot for me to talk about. The, the whole story is this movie is basically shot on sound stages and it's not even convincing. The music is one of the redeeming qualities. Helen Slater is another redeeming quality. Mark McClure is, and that little photo cameo Superman is, but the effects are very cheesy. And there, I find myself having to laugh at so many moments. And this movie is so freaking stupid. This movie bombed. When you make a good female superhero or a great female superhero movie you get stuff like this awesome movie right here this movie gets called overrated 
for whatever freaking reason, if people don't like the movie, it's okay, but I like the movie. And see, it has a female character I like. Wonder Woman. I love Supergirl, but this is not how you make a Supergirl movie, okay? This is just, this is just lame. This is lame. This is lame. It's lame. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's one of the worst things I've seen. And they tried to get John Travolta to play Ethan, but he turned to town. And this was intended to be the first in the Supergirl movie series. So yeah, back then they were trying to do DC Mac Universe. Well, I know people don't like the DCEU, but I respect the, the heck out of the DCEU after watching this movie. I respect the heck out of any other bad DC movie I've given hate to. Batman and Robin, Green Lantern, but I, that doesn't mean I will watch Green Lantern again. I will never watch Green Lantern again. You will never see Green Lantern in my collection. I hate that movie. And, and the fact that this movie actually came out and tried to make money is beyond me. There is nothing else I have to say about this film, okay? I have basically said all I need to say. I don't want to go on this movie for a long time, for an hour and a half or something, because it's not worth it. Honestly, at the end of the day, you want to know. You really want to know why I'm going to give Supergirl the movie. I'm giving this movie an automatic Joshua Drake get out of my face club because I will never watch this movie again never again thank God the Melissa Benoist TV show is better So, let me know what you guys think about this crap, this train wreck of a female superhero movie down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And in the future, we're going to get much better female superhero movies than this. So, hopefully you, you, get, you have the guts and make a great Supergirl movie soon. And if you like this, you can come here and we can have a good time. I'll see you guys in the next one.